Welcome back. We've just heard the very sad news that legendary broadcaster Nicholas Parsons has died at the age of 96. Well, he was, and I think you'll hear this from everybody, one of the nicest, mm. kindest, sweetest men. Oh, what Such a lovely man. Such a shame. Uh, in a statement issued on behalf of his family, they said Nicholas passed away in the early hours of the 28th of January after a short illness. He was with his beloved family who will miss him enormously and they wish to thank the wonderful staff at Stoke Mandeville Hospital. Uh, so we've got Tony Backburn on the phone, who was a, a close friend. Yeah. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Hello there. It's very, very, very sad news. Oh, it's really, really is. sad yeah. news. And I said, as I said there a moment ago, that any anyone you talk to about Nicholas Parsons mm. is going to say what an incredibly lovely gentleman he was. Oh, he was absolutely uh, adorable. I mean, we saw him uh, last time about four or five weeks ago <coughs> at a at a, um, uh, a rattling zoo, and he was a king rat. And he invited us along and uh, as one of his guests, and he wasn't very well. He had a nasty fall in Edinburgh uh, at, uh, just before the festival there, and he went on stage. And, in fact, his lovely wife, Annie, uh, actually had to tell him not to go on the stage anymore because he had had a nasty fall, and he never quite recovered from that. But yeah. uh, I knew him so many years, and, and, and the funny thing was I met him in 1967 in the BBC canteen when I joined Radio 1, mm -hmm. and he, he called me Brian. He said, lovely to see you, Brian, because he knew somebody called Brian Blackburn, who was a writer, I think. <laughs> and for many, many years, he called me Brian, and I never bothered to put him right about it <laughs> until, I, until I did one of his shows, and he, said, uh, and he introduced me as Tony Blackburn, and after the show he said... I said to him, I said, it's the first time you've ever actually called me by my proper name. <laughs> and this was after about 20 years. And um, he said, oh, don't be silly. And, and he did. He always called me Brian oh, up oh, until recently. Funny. Did uh, you buy him a Superman uh, dressing gown? I did, gown? yes. For his 90th birthday, we, we went along to his 90th party and we gave him a, a Superman dressing gown. And every time I saw him, he said, I love that dressing gown. But we oh. gave it to him and I said, it's because you are a Superman. Um, Tony, thank you for speaking to us today. Thanks. I mean, lots of people already have been tweeting their condolences and sadness. Um, Stephen Fry said, oh, no, Nicholas Parsons gone. He ruled just a minute for just a lifetime. A stunning achievement, never scripted, always immaculate. From comedian sidekick to great institution via sale of the century and much more unrivaled continuity, professionalism and commitment. Farewell. And uh, Graham Norton said, the sound of the final whistle, Nicholas Parsons was truly the kindest, the most generous person I've ever worked with. His uh, continued delight at being a part of show business should be an inspiration to us all. Huge love to his wife, Annie, and his whole family. Mm, very sad. Very sad. Right, still to come today.